Hello, welcome back to art class. Uh, today we are going to be using some information we learned earlier in the year. Uh, we uh, are going to create a design and it's not going to be a picture of anything. This is a, what we can often call a non-objective uh, design. It's just going to be literally uh, lines and shapes flowing through the picture. And there's no like picture of a house. There's not going to be a picture of a dog or anything like that. It's just going to be total design. And we're going to use something that we learned about earlier in this year, which was geometric versus organic. Um, it was a very simple project we did earlier in the year where we uh, did some shapes. The, any, basically, remember the geometrics are any shape that really has a name. So square, triangle, circles, uh, oval, those are all geometric shapes. A uh, zigzag line is usually considered a geometric line. Uh, organic is more like uh, things that might be wobbly, uh, like if it had the shape of spilled milk or a blob um, or a wiggly line, that kind of thing is going to be an organic picture. Okay? What I'm going to have us do today, this is going to be a multi-week project. It's going to take us, uh, I think, three weeks to do this. So the, today is our big thing is going to be uh, doing the drawing. So you're gonna need a piece of paper, you need a pencil, you're probably gonna want an eraser. If you're doing geometric, you may want a ruler. Um, and uh, you, I'm gonna use the crayons to show you something, but you're not gonna actually use them today. These are just for me to demonstrate a couple of uh, important topic things. So you don't need them, but I will show you some things uh, because crayons are a pretty common way of doing this project. Okay, so what I need you to do is decide, do you want a geometric or do you want organic? Okay. Either one can look good. Um, I, you can see real quick a picture of a geometric that I'm putting up right now. Uh, that's one I had done for this project. And uh, I'm going to do this time a, an organic design. Okay? And it may take you a little while to think about it because this is something you, that some of you may not normally do. So you're going to have to kind of think about you know, what looks good. You're not maybe will have issues like, oh, when is it finished? Well, you're gonna have to kind of make that decision on your own, okay? Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started. I'm gonna kind of fast forward through this part because there's not really anything for me to talk about. I'm just gonna be using organic versus geometric shapes, okay? So I'm gonna be using specifically in this time a uh, organic shapes. Okay, so here is my organic design. It's got a lot of flowing shapes, flowing lines, uh, different sections, okay? Like I said, this uh, could go really quick depending on uh, your design. It could take you a little while like it did me to do it. So I had to speed the video up for you. All right, so I'm just gonna flip this over real quick. And I wanna discuss uh, what were the next part of the next step, and, and that's just choosing the color that you want this to picture. The picture itself is gonna be what we call a monochromatic picture. We've done that before last year in first grade, and a monochromatic is a picture that is using just one color, okay? So you're using all the different versions of that one color. Here, let me give you an example, and this is why I'm using a crayon box, is because um, they actually usually have a lot of versions. So let me grab one that I know has a lot of versions in this box. So um, I'm gonna do blue, because it's just got a lot. Okay, so here's an example of all the blues that are in my uh, box of crayons. They're not all the same blue, okay? So one example is this is blue-green, so it's got a little bit of green mixed into it. Uh, this one is a newer crayon, uh, I think that maybe just introduced this year, so maybe not every box has it. It's called Blutiful, um, and it's just basically a nice darker blue, okay? Uh, then we got like this one here, this one's blue-violet, Okay, so uh, it's got a little bit of violet mixed into it. Uh, this one here is called Cerulean Blue. This is often kind of a skyish kind of blue. 
Uh, then we have indigo, which is another blue purplish color. And then we have plain old blue. So there are five, is here in this one, six that I could use to color in my picture. Now, that's for blue. There are some other ones that would be really good. Let me give you another example. Uh, orange, orange has several, okay? So you have yellow orange, you have orange, you have red orange, and many of the boxes have this scarlet color, which is like a, a red, red orange. It's got a lot more red in it, but it still has orange in it, so that would be okay to you, okay? Um, I'm just gonna go over some of the sets that you could use. Some of them might use other colors from other things. All right, so we could do the greens. Greens have four, okay? You have regular green, you have yellow green, then you have green yellow, which has got a lot of yellow in it, okay? And then you also have blue green. So those would be another set that you can do. So sometimes one set will go with another one because it's got two colors mixed in it. Uh, another really good one to do is gonna be red. So red has a lot either too, uh, because you have scarlet, which is a, a red orange color. So it's got red mixed into it. You have red violet to use. Pink is, uh, is actually light red, so you could actually use that. Uh, red orange, obviously, because it's got red in it. Uh, red, or excuse me, this one's called violet red, which has got more red in it than the violet red and then just plain old red. So there are six there. So there's a lot of choices for the reds. So uh, that's a really good one. One last one that is really good is going to be uh, purple. And purple, or violet, has several. Let me snag them all here. Okay, so uh, violet has several choices. Obviously you use violet. Uh, you're gonna use, indigo has a violet mixed into it. Uh, violet red. Okay. Uh, red violet. And blue violet, that leaves you with a set of five there. Okay. So those are really your best bets. Red, orange, green, blue, and violet. Uh, yellow, we do not actually have enough uh, versions of yellow to do this project. So yellow is kind of a no-go. So you'll have to choose one. And then what I want you to do is, once you've looked at your set of colored pencils or crayons, I am using crayons for my picture. You can actually um, decide what material you're gonna use. So if you wanna use crayons like me, that's great. If you wanna use colored pencils because you have more colored pencil choices, then use colored pencils. If you are wanting to do this in paint, that is something you can do as well. I'm gonna give you a lot of options. This, But on the back of your paper for right now, what I need you to do is label what color you want yours to be, okay? Uh, that way we are set up for next week, all right? So once you have it labeled, I need you to take a picture of your drawing for me, upload it to Google Classroom, and I'll see you next week for the coloring portion of this project. Remember, this is gonna take three weeks. Next week is coloring, and then there's an extra step after that, because uh, we're gonna turn this into kind of a 3D picture, okay? Not like our 3D shapes, but it actually will be uh, like a little mini sculpture kind of thing, okay? So uh, be prepared for that. All right, take a photo of this, upload it to Google Classroom for me, and I'll see you next week.